What's going on guys? So today I want to talk to you about clear coat and I get asked this question probably like once a day at least. I see it on Instagram, I see it on YouTube, I get it in emails, I get it uh, DMs on Instagram, whatever, but I want to answer this question for you right now. So can we wrap over clear coat or paint that is flaking or basically not doing, not in great condition, let's say. So the paint is coming off the car or the clear coat is coming off the car. So as I was removing this wrap, the clear coat began to come off of the rear bumper. Now I have to rewrap this car, right? So I have to, I'm gonna have to make sure that we can rewrap this car. So what I wanna talk about, I wanna show you here, if you guys can see it in the video. Right here, we have one, two, three, four spots of clear coat missing. So why, this, why did this happen? This happened because the front and rear bumper of this car have both been repainted. I can actually see the sanding, the body marks, like the, the prep, where they sanded down underneath the clear coat, they sanded the paint down by hand. You can see it's done by hand. There's, there's like really fine scuffs in different directions. So mostly in the same direction, but still in some different directions. I'll try, I'll try and capture that on camera for you. Uh, also what I want to show you, and so I'm going to bring the camera in for you guys right now. So this is the why, right down here, let that focus. This is why you can't wrap over flaking, flaking clear coat or paint. Look what happens. That is just simply going to come off on the wrap or it's going to release. If you happen to bang it out in one shot all at one time, this is loose just so you know the, the bumpers, the rear bumper is loose so I could uh, unwrap it properly. But yes, if you go to try to uh, wrap over that and you reposition your vinyl, it's going to lift the clear coat or paint off the car and it's going to cause issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you an example of how that might happen right now. I'm going to grab a little bit of vinyl. This is not, in this case, this is not the vinyl's fault. This is, this is not my removal either. Turn the thing around here. It's not my removal either. I'm removing, I've removed plenty of wraps. It's not that this is anyone's fault in particular. It's not her fault either. Uh, unfortunately, it does happen sometimes, especially when cars have been repainted. Now, this vinyl is coming off very easy, okay? So, if that had been, if it was like Avery or 3M, there's a little bit of glue, but um, that's not that's not clear, that's a little bit of glue. But if it had been Avery or 3M, what would have happened is that it, because Avery and 3M grab, and even actually most of the brands, will grab pretty aggressively when it's a little bit warmer, it's probably gonna, it probably actually take the paint right off the bumper. So in this case, it's just a clear coat. We don't need a full paint job. We just gotta re-clear the bumper. Not a big deal. We're still gonna have to let it settle. Either way, we're gonna have to sand it down. If it's not going to be re-cleared, it'll have to be wet sanded down to be perfectly smooth. I can wrap over that, that's totally fine once it's perfectly smooth. But what I want to show you right now is obviously what's going to happen is if we don't get this to be smooth and hopefully this, this color will show it. This is Avery. Let's hope it doesn't take any paint off with it. Yeah, so it's coming off. The clear coat is coming off. I'll grab a couple other spots. Not much we can do right now because it's going to have to be taken care of anyway. So all that loose, all these loose bits right now are going to have to come off no matter what. And this thing will have to be looked after before I wrap it. Now the front bumper I haven't even stripped yet. So let's, let's get a close up here, okay? Now they're gonna be shiny parts, all right? So I'm trying to find the camera here. Let me stand behind the camera. This way I can hopefully let it focus. No, doesn't want to. No, let's turn autofocus off maybe. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Camera's, uh... there we go. So I have to actually hold this button down. So look right here, see that shiny spot? 
See, it kind of sucks I have to actually hold that button down. I don't know why. There's a shiny spot right here where my thumb is. Um, you guys probably get the picture already. I'm not sure if you can. Yes, yeah, see it right there? So that's the clear coat coming off. You see other spots on there where there's some clear coat has come off as well, like right around here, right in the middle. See that? Shiny spots. Right. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Was that... Is the camera going to focus again now? Cool. It focused. All right. So you can't wrap over clear coat that's flaking off and paint that's flaking off. It's just not going to happen. So you're going to have to do your absolute best. And a lot of you are going to get it on your hoods, your roofs, your trunks, simply because of the wear and tear from the sun for the most part, taking its toll on the horizontal surfaces. So your hood, your roof, your trunk, your vertical surfaces, other than the tops of your pillars, are probably going to be fine. The tops of the pillars can get it too. You'll start to see like it's like it's like uh, what do they call it? Like sun cancer or something like that. It's basically skin cancer for the car. It's sun beating down and wearing out that clear coat and just eating away at it over time. Uh, it's not really anything else. It's not just the rain. It's a combination of things, but it's mostly the it's mostly the UV light that's just killing it. So unfortunately, this is just the paint. Uh, the painters fault more or less. I mean, he didn't know the car was going to get wrapped, but again, it didn't peel off all the paint. So I have seen much worse where it's taken off all the paint as well. In the uh, BMW video, the front bumper there where I took the wrap off, I'll put a, a link in the top corner there for you guys, where I took the wrap off and, you know, it was a disaster actually. So the paint was so bad. But yes, I will hopefully covered the, this topic for you guys. I hope the information was informative. Uh, that's you know, what I'm trying to do here for you. And uh, that, you know, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see what this car looks like, once I get it all stripped down and started to wrap it in the satin rolls gold, uh, don't forget that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Thank you for watching. Take care.